From her hospital bed, heavily bruised and bandaged up, Yelena's face covered with green dye, which is used to target Kremlin critics, she explains what happened. They pulled the taxi driver out of the car. They put our heads down. They tried to tie my hands behind my back. It looks like at the time they stabbed Alexander because blood started pouring out of his leg. They drove a certain distance, but the car engine stopped working. They weren't able to turn it back on. So they pulled us into some ravine and started beating us. The human rights lawyer Alexander Nemov told reporters he felt the pair were being followed from Moscow airport and were attacked shortly after they landed in Chechnya. They were heading to the capital, Grozny, to hear a court verdict for the mother of three critics of President Ramzan Kadyrov. He's a staunch ally of Russia's leader and had previously described Yelena as a terrorist. The journalist has spoken about being targeted back in 2020. I tuned into a live stream on Kadyrov's Instagram account to see what was happening at a regional coronavirus meeting, and that's when I heard him making direct threats against me. They're both now recovering and have flown back to Moscow, escorted by the Nobel Prize-winning editor of the Novaya Gazeta. The publication's now banned in Russia. Six of its journalists have been killed in the past two decades, including Anna Politkovskaya, who also investigated abuses in Chechnya. She was murdered in an attack in Moscow. The Kremlin has described the assault on Yelena and Alexander as a serious incident, but refused to comment on calls for an investigation.